The stock rally continues this morning. As I speak to you right now, we have the Dow up a little bit more than a tenth of 1%, the Russell up close to two tenths of a percent, the S&P up seven tenths of 1%, and the NASDAQ up 1.6%. U.S. yields are higher across the curve as we speak with the two-year up nine basis points, the five-year up eight basis points, the 10-year up six basis points, and the 30-year up three basis points, recovering most of yesterday's drop. U.S. economic data this morning was all strong with durable goods up 4.7% versus an expectation of only 1% and ex-transportation up 0.6% with the forecast being for no change at all. The advanced reading of GDP growth was up 2.4% for the second quarter with the forecast being up one at 0.8%. And initial jobless claims came in at only 221,000 versus a forecast of 235,000. Base metals keep falling with copper and aluminum both lower on the day. Copper is now down over 20% from its cycle highs. Aluminum down 44% from its cycle highs. Iron ore down 49% and nickel down 56% from their cycle highs. As expected, ECB raised rates by 25 basis points and came up came across as much more hawkish than the FOMC, saying inflation is still on pace to be too high for too long. And despite that tone, Euro futures are still down about nine tenths of 1% as I speak to you right now against the dollar. Now, late tonight, early tomorrow morning, we get a Bank of Japan rate decision with no change expected in policy, though they are expected to begin debating some fine tuning of their yield curve control. So we'll keep an eye out for headlines on that regard. Looking ahead, earnings today after the market closes, we have 85 companies with market caps over 500 million, including names like Intel, T-Mobile, Ford, Mondelez, Canadian Pacific, Live Nation, and First Solar. Tomorrow before the open, another 37 companies with market caps over $500 million, including energy giants ExxonMobil Exxon and Chevron, healthcare companies AstraZeneca and Sanofi, and consumer goods companies Procter & Gamble and Colgate Palmolive. In terms of data, I already mentioned the Bank of Japan rate decision tonight, but tomorrow morning, we get German second quarter flash GDP, along with their inflation data, EU consumer confidence data, and US PCE inflation data and consumer spending data, along with final July Michigan consumer sentiment.